Hello and welcome to another VectEasy video tutorial. My name is Rick and today we're going to be learning how to both detect and remove bitmap images, otherwise known as raster images, from an EPS file. Now why do we need to do this? Well, if you're attempting to create a true vector image, it cannot contain any bitmapped elements. Even though a file format, like EPS, will allow you to save the file with a bitmap image inside of it. So, while it might be an EPS file, it could actually contain both vector and bitmapped elements. If you're looking to upload a vector file to VectEasy, you'll need to ensure that it's a 100% true vector image. Luckily, there's a quick and easy way to do this inside Adobe Illustrator. In this example, we have an EPS file that contains two images of smartphones. However, one of these phones is a vector object, while the other is actually a bitmap PNG object. Now, how do we know which is which, and how can we remove the bitmapped image? Simply open the Links panel by going to Window, Links. Inside, you'll see a list of any bitmap images used in your file. You can then click on the file name and choose the Go to Link option at the bottom of the panel to locate the object in your document. Once Illustrator shows you the bitmap element, you can choose to delete it by simply clicking delete on the keyboard, and this file is now ready to resave as a true 100% vector EPS file you can submit to VectEasy. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and good luck on your creative journey.